Hi everyone, this is Rodrigo Sa from All About Aquaculture. I'm here with Dr. Fish uh, in uh, Ibada, Nigeria. Good morning. I'm Dr. Luda by name, but people call me Dr. Fish. I'm based in Nigeria. I'm a fish farmer, a vet uh, surgeon turned fish farmer. Uh, this is one of my many farms. This place is a nursery. We produce uh, both edible and ornamental fish. For the edible species, I have about seven different species that I produce. I breed them myself here and I sell the fingerlings to farmers within the uh, nation and to neighboring countries. For the edible species, we produce clarias, pure clarias. We produce the hybrid, that's heteroclarias. We produce pangasius apoptamus. We produce freshwater brahma, that's colosoma macropomum. We produce rohu, labio rohita. We produce common carp, cyprinus carpio. We have grass carp. We have climbing perch. Climbing perch. Climbing perch, yes, we have. We still have about four other species that we have not even bred. We are waiting for them to reach maturity stage. When they reach maturity stage, we start producing the fingerlings as well. Those are for the edible fish species. For the ornamental fish species, I produce about 12 different types. Wow. Yes, I have goldfish, I have a Japanese koi carp, mm -hmm. angel fish, I produce a goramis of different types, three spot goramis, a pear gourami, dwarf gourami, I produce a red head tortu, I produce a pecostomus, isostomus, that's pleco fish, the cleaner, mm -hmm. so many. Nice. Uh, Guppies, platies, mollies, and the likes. Okay. And if I may, what is the surface area of this farm, this particular farm? Where we are is about one uh, acre. One acre? Yes. It's about one acre. Okay. This is just one of my five farms, like I told oh, you. Oh, okay. Yes, this is just one. Okay. I have one in this environment. I'm very close, about three kilometers from here. I have another one. Another farm? Yeah, another farm. About six kilometers from here, there's another one. Okay. We have our production farm where we raise table sized fish mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about uh, 10 11 kilometers from here. Okay, so this site is mainly for the archery, it is archery, nursery. Okay, yes, I operate two archeries. This is one, we'll get to the other one where we operate indoor archery. Okay, yes, okay, so let them bring the feed. I'll show you samples of the feed. Okay, of the fish we have here. Here we have a uh, ornamental fish. And we have uh, three different species here. But the majority we have here is Japanese koi carp. Okay. For the Japanese koi carp, if you look vividly, we have different types of them here. Here we have Ogon, we have Jinring, we have Sanke, we have uh, Koaku, we have Otsuri, we have Beko, here alone. Mm. Yes. These names that I give this fish is according to the colors exhibited by each of them. So this pond is a mixture of Japanese koi carp. Depending on whatever the customer requests, that's what we give them. Okay. You understand me? Yes. We also have goldfish here. Here we have black mon, we have uh, uh, orandas, we have uh, sarasa, we have pure white oranda. And we have a shibunki for for goldfish, mm. but they are not as aggressive as the Japanese quaker. That's why you are seeing just few of them. Mm -hmm. And I also have paradise fish here. And, and you have clients, local clients for all these species, or do you export? I have local clients, and I also export. At least currently, I cover I cover about forty percent of the Ecowas market. Ecowas? Yes, up to Ghana. Togo, to Benin, even Cameroon, my fish goes as far as, far as Cameroon. Nice, nice, nice. And really, what was the idea behind all this? So why did you start all this? Tell me a bit of your story, please. Actually, from a childhood, I've always had a flair for fish, aquaculture generally. You understand me? Mm -hmm. um, when I moved into the business, I wasn't motivated by money, but by passion. I just love fish, anything fish. In fact, when I was young, I used to believe that all the fish we eat is gotten from the wild. Not until when I was in my 
late uh, in my teenage that I realized all these fish can be produced via artificially by manipulating the fish, injecting some hormones. The female fish will release the eggs. You get the milk, that is spam from the milk. You mix the two together to get the babies. You understand me? I first experimented on catfish. When I got the results on catfish, I was encouraged. When, when, when was that? The year? That was 1997. So you have been in business for for almost uh, 20, 24, 23, 24 years now. Nice. You understand me? Yes. So, yes. so after excelling on breeding catfish, I thought within myself, I can do other fish. That was what motivated me into all these ornamental fish and into other species of edible fish. And another motivation was this. About 15 years ago, I saw the trend, the economic trend of the country, where the country was heading to. We are consuming economy. We are producing virtually nothing. The only thing we I can say Nigeria is exporting, that's we are generating money from is petroleum, crude oil. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And I thought, how can we help the government? How can we relieve the government of the pressure of sourcing for hard hand currency, international currency? Okay. Why not let us look in work? Most of the dollar that is here mark yearly for importers of frozen fish. The federal government can channel it into development of other sectors of the economy. Let me produce fish locally. If I can produce all these different species locally, then our importation can reduce like 20% or 15%. You understand? That was the only motivation and the drive. Thanks. And I'm not stopping. Like I told you earlier, currently I'm producing different, about six species now of edible fish. But we still have about five more that we have not even inject at all. We are awaiting their maturity. Once they mature, the females are of age with viable eggs, then work starts on them. Okay. Yes. Yes. Overall, what's your production for, for edible fish and also for ornamental fish? Um, for ornamental fish, in this point alone now, at least that can give you the assessment of what we can produce in all our farms. In this point alone now, we have 17,000 pieces of ornamental fish. 17,000 17, pieces, yes. You can see the water is well heritage. We change the water virtually every other day. And we make sure that the hair pumps are working to generate enough oxygen for them. We have 17,000 here. And each one costs 2,500 naira minimum, depending on the size. The smallest size is 2,000 naira. In fact, you can see some big ones. And 2,000 naira is like $4. Yeah, that's about uh, three dollars. Three do US, US dollars. dollars. Three US dollars. Yes. The biggest one can cost about uh, twenty-five thousand naira. Twenty-five thousand naira. That's about fifty dollars US dollars. Yes, they're about. Mm -hmm. We have African catfish here. Clara's, Clara's jerry peanuts. Okay. Yes. And why? You are producing catfish here and not tilapia, for example. Yes, uh, this pond uh, is not big enough to produce tilapia here. I will need the uh, water to flow in 24/7. Tilapia requires a lot of oxygen, but catfish doesn't. Catfish has a uh, nasal nerves. This olfactory, uh, this uh, respiratory organ, which they can use to get oxygen directly from the atmosphere. When the dew of the water, that the dissolved oxygen of the water is exhausted, so they are more rugged than tilapia. Where I'm producing tilapia, there is a flow through. In fact, I have a dam nearby where we, water comes into the ponds and goes out 24 7. So if I'm to stock tilapia here, it will be limited quantity and it will not be wise. You understand? I'll be underutilizing the pond. You get it. Right. I'm also in this. Uh, region of the country, the southwest, people prefer catfish more than tilapia because tilapia is they see it as a bony fish and uh, they see it as fish for the kids. But catfish, they regard it a lot. It's a big man's uh, fish nice. here in the southwest. Nice. So, yes, and from your experience with uh, aquaculture, yes, of food fish and ornamental fish, yes. do you think aquaculture business is profitable? 
agriculture business is very, very profitable. Very, very lucrative. Mm. Provided you know the nitty gritty. Which means? You must know <clears throat> how to manage your water. Very, very important. You must know how to feed your fish. Quantity wise and quality wise, what you need to give them, very, very important. Then, when you are stocking, get your seeds, your seedlings from a reliable source. Very, very important as well. And the, the last on the list, security. If your farm is well secure, nobody comes to encroach to steal your fish. At the end of the day, nothing stops you from making at least 40% plus return on your investment. 40%? Yes, it's a very, very lucrative business. Uh, for a new player, so okay. a, a prospective aquaculturist, yes. where should that person start from? Um, I would advise anybody coming in fresh to start from uh, table fish production. You know, aquaculture is divided into so many segments. We have uh, the seed uh, production. You can major or specialize in fingerling production. You can major or specialize in table fish production. You can major or specialize in pond construction and management, you understand me, or into feed formulation and pelleting. Mm -hmm. There is a, it, it, it is a, it's, it's very, very broad. Our culture is very broad. But I do tell people, the novice, the freshers, just coming in, go into table size production. That is where the market is. That is where you make more of, of the money. I hope you all like this video. Now you know that in Africa there are people who are very engaged in aquaculture. People will produce multi species of uh, food, fish, more than six species only with Dr. Fish, and also a lot of ornamental species, more than 20 within one aquaculture venture. I hope this will inspire many prospective aquaculturists across the continent uh, so that together we put effort and support the growth of this sector which is in need and in high demand across the continent. Thank you very much. As usual, I will invite you to like the video, to share it and also invite other people to subscribe to All About Aquaculture, Pusil Aquaculture Profit Africa. Merci. Thank you.